University of Sheffield has been providing high quality education before its foundation in 1905 and continues to invest in excellent facilities for students. The recently completed £87 million diamond building realises the Faculty of Engineering's ambitious vision to create the best integrated engineering teaching space in the UK, if not the world. With specialist teaching laboratories, lecture theatres and flexible teaching spaces across six floors, the Diamond provides top quality practical education for over 2,500 undergraduate engineering students. I've been involved with it since about 2010 when we moved to a faculty in effect and we needed more space and my boss, the Pro Vice Chancellor for Engineering, said we need a teaching building. And at that time I'd been doing some work on interdisciplinary teaching. So instead of each department having their own little laboratories, I teach fluid mechanics and opposed to having them all having their own fluids fluid mechanics laboratories, I managed to get hold of multiple sets of equipment and we moved the students to the laboratories and that meant that we were able to have new big laboratories, multiple sets of equipment and that we were able to get very good value out of the money we put into that equipment. And that philosophy is fed back into this building. So in the light structures laboratory down there, we have multiple sets of equipment. For example, we have the 10 Shimadzu testing um, rigs. And the idea is that we can get a complete class of 80 down there doing work on those rigs. So they each get a real experience of using this state-of-the-art industrially based equipment in order to understand better what they're doing in their lectures. So all of the laboratories in this building have got that sort of scale, that multiplicity of equipment, which has meant that we've needed to find a lot of resources to do that. But we think the payback is brilliant, both in terms of the quality of the building, the quality of the equipment and what we can do in it. Shimadzu have worked closely with the university to support them in the implementation of their plans. The actual types of equipment would be available in the same sort of form from lots of different companies. But the way that Shimadzu actually wanted to work with us to actually use some of our equipment for their training days, to provide good quality training for us, to provide a series of extra equipment to go with it, meant that we felt that they wanted to be with us for the long term. And very much within that, we knew that our students would get a really good experience by having the kit we've got down there. Each of the specialist laboratories provides state-of-the-art facilities in their own disciplines, but the Diamond also delivers multidisciplinary, practical and problem-based learning activities under one roof. Students design products using CAD in computer suites, fabricate them in the workshop or with a 3D printer, and then test them in a wind tunnel or Shimadzu machine. With chemical labs, bioengineering labs, a clean room, flight simulators, media editing and a virtual reality suite, students are not limited by traditional discipline boundaries. When we formed the faculty seven years ago, we actually had a strategy of growth and excellence. So we wanted to grow, and in fact we wanted to double in size over 15 years, and in fact we've achieved that over eight years, so we're ahead of schedule. Um, but also, as one of the best engineering faculties in the UK, we wanted to not only maintain that excellence, but also challenge um, the top three that we're in to, be, uh, the best, to compete to be the best in the UK. A key innovation at the Diamond is using technical staff who are trained in teaching to deliver the practical sessions working alongside academics. Students receive a balanced educational experience including advanced industrial practical skills focused on employability as well as core scientific principles. My role as a teaching technician is the one to teach the students during practical sessions, make sure that the lab is safe and ready for the practical sessions. How the students learn is centred on what they will need in the real world as they begin their exciting careers and ensure that they can get off to a great start, impressing employers with the confidence and know-how from the outset. Well, it will be an on-hands experience, uh, which means the students will be able to put in practice what they learn during the lectures and they will not do practice via demonstration, but they will actually do the experiment by themselves so they will be able to test different samples and analyze the data themselves and not observing a demonstration more similar to a lecture. Professor Beck and the team are passionate about the diamond, what it can mean to the students' experience and what it can provide to ensure a fantastic future. The diamond has opened and we've, we've moved in and we've got equipment running in 19 different laboratories teaching thousands of engineering students week in week out. When anyone comes in they go wow, I want to come to Sheffield. It's partly just 
the building, which is new and clean and I think architecturally superb, but it's also the equipment we've got in the labs and the way that we're able to tell the students that this is for you. This isn't someone's little research toy that you might see in your final year. This equipment, this state-of-the-art, brand new, multiples of equipment is for you to use, for you to learn on. And they're just going, I want to come to Sheffield. And more importantly, their parents are going, we want you to go to Sheffield. The investment in the diamond demonstrates the University of Sheffield's commitment to delivering the highest quality facilities and producing the best engineering students, those that will go on to solve the grand challenges of the future. The future has arrived.